Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial about the Akineo settings section. You'll learn how to add a new attribute and attribute group, as well as about attribute types and validations. Ok, let's jump right into the settings from the menu on the left. First, I will show you the attribute section, where you can see the list of all added attributes. An attribute is simply a product's characteristics. A product is usually composed of several attributes – identification number, name, description, price or color. You can use search or filters to find them. There are several ways of filtering your data. Filtering the attributes by attribute code, by attribute type, by attribute groups it belongs to, by scoopable property, by localizable property and by smart property if there's a rule impacting the attribute. Ok, now choose the attribute type. There are 17 available, like asset collection, date, file, identifier, image, metric, multi-select, number, price, reference data multi-select, reference data simple select, reference entity multiple links, reference entity single link, simple select, text, text area and yes no attribute. Here's for example the date attribute. All attributes have general parameters like code, type, attribute group, unique value, value per channel, value per locale, read-only, usable in the grid, and locale-specific. Some of them have type-specific parameters or validation parameters. Validation parameters are to add more control to the attribute's values. In the Label Translation tab, you can enter the names of labels for different locales. When you fill in all required data, click Save. Now go back to the Attributes section and find your recently created attribute on the list. You can also edit the attribute or delete it directly from the list. Particular attributes are either multi-select or straightforward. For example, let's create a new simple select attribute. You have to enter the attribute code, choose the attribute group and select some other parameters. Then jump to the translations and click the Save button. Now you can see new additional tabs – Options, Rules and History. If you want to add options to our simple select attribute, provide the code of the option, Translations and check the action box. You can set the rules for our attribute under the Rules tab. They allow you to automatize processes in PIM, for example fill in attributes. Under the History tab you can check the attribute history like the person or system that made the changes the date and time of changes, the old value and the new value of each modified field. Once finished, you should save everything. Now we can go to the Attribute Groups section, where we have the list of all attribute groups. Attribute groups are used as folders or attribute sets. Each attribute must be assigned to a group. If you want to create a new one, click the Create button. You have to enter a unique code for the attribute group, label translations and save it. Now you can see three additional tabs – Attributes, Permission and History. You can assign attributes to this group under the Attributes tab. The last thing you need to do is to click the Add Attributes button and search for attributes that you want to add and simply click Add. The Permissions tab is available only in the Enterprise Edition. Under the Permissions tab you can restrict the view or enrich attributes to one or more users. And under the History tab you can check the history of changes. In the end, save everything. Ok, I hope this helps. Now go and enjoy managing your attributes. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. And see you next time.